face the nomad. He shall pass all round with Bilbo Wagons. Hello, I am Vince the Nomad, and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I plan to share several different kinds of content. Uh, one will be Vince the Nomad's Nuggets of Wisdom and Knowledge. You can thank me later. The other one is Vince the Nomad's Adventures, where I take you on my little trips and uh, show you all the different things and share my viewpoints on what I find. Also on this channel, I plan to share my own survival hacks. Now, I know you can find survival hacks anywhere out there, but um, there's books and everything. But you know what? Hey, you're here, and this is my life, my channel, and I'm going to share with you what I know and what I learn along the way. So something else I'm going to be sharing on this channel is um, my thoughts and ponderings on a myriad of things of life and shit. You know, when you're... Um, sorry about that flicker. Something wrong with the trailer lights. I don't know. It's just that one. The rest don't do it. It's weird. Anyway, when you live alone in a 1970 20-foot travel trailer in the woods off-grid, and when you're driving around, your mind has a lot of time to think about everything and anything. So I'm going to share Vince the Nomad's ponderings and thoughts on life and shit. Something else I'm going to be sharing is survival ingenuity. So one thing I've learned is when you're out here on your own, you're living off grid and you don't have anything or you don't have anybody, there may be times you don't have cell service. There may be times where your vehicle doesn't run. There may be times where none of all of that's happening and you're tens of miles away from people. So you have to learn to rely on yourself and your noggin. So I have learned a lot and I continue to learn. So another thing that I plan to share on this channel is Vince the Nomad's survival engineer. Right? What causes a person to decide to stop paying rent or a mortgage and all that business and live off grid and um, wander? <laughs> Hence the nomad. Well, I won't go into too much detail. Let's just say I'm 46 years old. And I've tried the relationship thing and all that, and I'm just tired of people. Tired of being hurt and all that. And I thought, you know what? I love nature. I love learning things, and I love traveling. So that's what I'm going to do. Plus, I don't like feeling obligated to anybody or having to pay rent or mortgage. I got this travel trailer for, it was on, um, I, I got on Facebook, not on Facebook, it was on sale on Marketplace, you know what I'm saying, it was on sale for a thousand dollars, it's a 1970 kit companion, um, the ladies I bought it from, it, they pretty much used it as a glorified tent when they went camping, it was disgusting, frankly. Um, so when I went to pick it up, I was like, I want it, sorry, bug, um, I want it, but would you take 980, you know, I was trying to do them down a little bit, hey, I can say that, because I found out, thank you, to, um, Ancestry, that I am a Jew, so I was trying to do them down a little bit, she jewed me down, can you believe that, she jewed me down, and said, I'll take 960. Sold. So anyway, so I bought this travel trailer, and the money I would have spent on a mortgage and all that other stuff, I invested in this travel trailer. Now, I also and I also bought a truck because I figured, you know, I don't care what this thing is like. 
I need a reliable vehicle uh, to pull it around. Which I was right, but I probably should have invested a little bit more in the beginning into the trailer too. You know, I don't know, like the tires, uh, the brakes. You'll find out more about that in another video. <laughs> but anyway, here I am, Vince the Nomad. I'm living in a 20 foot trailer. It is 8 by 20 by the way. So it's pretty small. Not the smallest. It's good enough for me and my doggo, who you'll meet later. And my initial intent, because I love the ocean, was I was going to go along the coast. I started in central Washington and I didn't start on the Washington coast because, well, let's just say there's a lot in the entire state of Washington I didn't want to be close to. So, I went to Oceanside, correction, I went to Seaside, Oregon, which will probably be the next video you watch. Um, and I stayed there for a while, and I'll go into that when I get to that video. Um, but as I've gone on, I love the ocean, I do, I still do, um, but uh, people, lots of people. Also, it's hard to find a place to not have to pay to park my little house. And having paid $960 for this little house in an effort to not have to pay rent or a mortgage, paying $35 a night to pay for hookups that won't even work because, by the way, this chick does not have functioning plumbing, the electric is kind of my jerry rig. It doesn't have functioning sewage as a normal RV trailer camper would. I do have a solution. I'll get into that later for all those things. However, so basically, I just need a place to park. I don't need to hook up to anything. Uh, so after staying about two or three weeks, about three weeks in Seaside, um, I realized I was pretty much paying for like an apartment and was defeating the purpose. So I moved on. And we'll talk about that in the next video. Hey again! I might be a little louder now. So I just want to take a second to apologize for the audio quality and the stupid timestamp. Gonna get that fixed next time. But thanks for watching my intro video. I will get better. I will get better at it. Uh, check back, and you'll see. You'll see that the the videos will get better. Hey everybody, this is Vince the Nomad. Welcome to my channel. Take two. Hello everybody, this is Vince, or this... Hello everybody, I am Vince the Nomad. Welcome to my adventures. On my channel, I plan to share... tips and tricks and fucks and shit. <laughs> Vince the Nomad is the hottest thing on YouTube right now. You really should check him out.